bigger deer Caleb's ever shot. I'm trying to call 20 people. Yeah. <laughs> it's the way it goes though. I couldn't be more excited. Cops are coming to get us right now. Or because it's very Making fun of your rattling antlers. Big what? bucks, dude. Yeah. Big rattling for big bucks, man. One of these mornings is going to end up being worth it. Hope so. The end of peak breeding in Northeast Ohio means one thing gun season is on the horizon. It's always a little bit somber when the best of the bow hunting is behind us. But the firearm season for us is rich in tradition, and every year we come out of it with a few more bucks for the wall. I, it feels good though. It feels good. It feels good. Feels good. The dreaded day. The dreaded day has come. You are witnessing the foraging. Our con our conformation to Ohio. It is November 16th. Yeah, November 16th. And that's our first bait on the farm. We're leaving in the morning for West Virginia for a week. So we are loading up. Getting out of Dodge. Youth gun season's coming in, and then Ohio's gun season after that. So we're getting the extra food out. All our beans are off. We have no crops left. The farmer's taking the last fuel off as we speak. We have the Taj Mahal blind up there. 25 yard shot. That's uh, we probably won't start hunting that till late season to be honest. We snow cold January, but that's where we killed a couple bucks from last year. Um, Late season hunting is a lot of fun. You'll sit in that blind and you'll watch 40 deer. I mean, it's awesome. 145 videos. But, found, a, found an old mock, or found an old script that we can mock up pretty easily. While most of the deer shop crew was down at the Gore Camp in West Virginia, little Anthony and his dad Alex had an incredible first day of youth gun season. I don't know if that was 124. Well, this would be easy. Dylan called me. This guy yelling at your bucks over here. <laughs> <laughs> no truck job today. I heard Brad. Awesome. <laughs> hey. Those pictures don't do him justice at right. all. Oh my god. Uh, Bigger deer Caleb's ever shot. Oh. Awesome. We're gonna have to get a better trophy for this. That is awesome. Who's that 
sure as shit. So it's your first buck, Anthony, huh? First deer? First deer, first buck, first deer killed with that 350. <laughs> Man, first a lot deer of... killed out of that new tide weed blind. A lot of first going on this morning. And that yeah. is a nice buck. First youth gun hunt. It only goes downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, you got a big mountain to climb from here on out. You got I try to up this one every year. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that's the fun of it. Try to do better every year. I just ended my season. Good luck haircut. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on film. But some craziness just ensued. I was sitting here, getting ready to get down. Super cold. Wind's been blowing like crazy. And I hear a crazy racket right in front of me, about, I don't know, 150 yards and a giant tree fell. And when that giant tree fell, three deer came bolting out of this thicket. A giant tree fell right in a thicket, bolting out of this thicket. I got my camera on, got my binoculars up. And I thought it was the hippie buck, which is a, a three-year-old 10-pointer that we want to survive. But I just, I got my scope up, four power scope on an AR. So it's not very uh, powerful. I thought it was a hippie buck, I couldn't tell. But then I got another look as he was going through the brush about 100 yards away, and it was a nine. I'm pretty sure it was a nine. He was just walking, super spooked because that tree must have fell really close to them. They couldn't have been bedded more than 100 yards from me. Sorry about this wind, obviously. That played a big part. But he started creeping away from me. And I knew he probably wasn't gonna come with the window is back my way. So I jumped down out of the stand real quick, and snuck up over there, and there was three bucks, and he was just looking straight at me, like 50 yards away, with the 450 around his chest, pulled the trigger, and he's just, I don't know if he ran a little bit or he went down, I couldn't quite tell. But I came back to the stand to do this interview and get my wits about myself, but if that's a nine, it's my biggest buck by far. And it's the main buck we've been going after in here. But opening day of gun season. And I think I might have just ended it. Oh boy. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's 10 a.m. Opening day Ohio's gun season. Um, I'm back in the shop turning heaters on. Because I'm frozen and I haven't seen a deer. But... 
We think Isaac killed the nine. Um, he's pretty sure he just killed the nine point that we've had on the farm here last couple years. Lots of history. Match set of sheds right over there somewhere. I guess I'm going to have to dig them out. But we might have ourselves a buck down. Opening day. Yo. I'm pretty sure I dropped the nine. Couldn't quite tell what buck it was, but it was a big one. Well, I, I, so crazy story. Yeah, of course. All right, I got off the phone with Isaac. Pretty sure he put a good shot on him. It is the nine, the buck we thought it was, um, according to him. So I'm rendezvousing with him to help track. Got a backpack full of cameras. The only thing I didn't grab was a celebratory beer, but I guess we can wait on that one. But it sounds like there's a buck down at the farm. Home farm gun camp. Inter interview number 47, probably. Yeah, I videotaped yeah. myself calling you, you not answering, you calling back. Well, I was turning all the heaters on when I, so when you, when I didn't answer, I was turning like all the shop heaters on because it's unbelievably cold in there. I think he dropped. Well, we're about to go find out. There's lots of craziness happening. It's gun season in Ohio. Yeah. Let's do this. One day gun season. He is done, right? I see antlers sticking up over the log. You see the orange? Yep, yep, it's the nine. I hope Your first and last hunt. God, he does have some mass. He's about as big as we thought he was. Yep. Real long time coming. It's a great ending to your season. Thousands of miles. Yep. It's <laughs> the way it goes, though. Oh, I couldn't be more excited. Good buck, man. Dropped him like a really big One bush light in the fridge. The last, the lonely bush light. Getting your legal beagle. Legal beagle. Right for Sure is nice when a plan comes together. 135 to 137. Kind of looks like 127. Yeah, he's and another year. He's a lot bigger in person than he is in uh, pictures. Nice. Like How much shot it up Probably should have. <laughs> I didn't feel like dealing with it. I need a writer guy. That's Dylan's. Give me, give me. Where the fuck is that? Guy? 17 and 2 eighths. Inside spread. 17 and 6 eighths. It's so cold in here. I don't know what it is if I'm just becoming more of a bitch, but like, it is so cold today. What the hell? We're getting old. Blood's running thin. 20 mile an hour wind. Yeah, the blood runs blood thin. Run I wonder thin. why. That 20 mile an hour wind doesn't help that anything. One. I need a judger. Score it low. It's a one, though. It's a one. <laughs> For sure. Because you, you can get that angle, right? So you yeah, can do it like. It's, 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 it's a one. It might even be a one and an eight. That's a one. Ten pointer. <laughs> Ten pointer. <laughs> Bring it on. Cheap. Uh. H1. Four and four eights. Just 
One of the unfortunate sides of hunting is that sometimes bad shots are made. One of the locals put an unsure shot on one of the famous bucks in the area, and after a conventional search yielded nothing, the decision was made to call in a drone. We were invited over to watch the process as this was something that was entirely new to us. So you marked him you know, somewhere over here, or was it? All right. So I shot him right there. And I jumped him right there. Which way did he go? That way. Away from me, but we have no idea. I think he's been. Here's the hoping. Unfortunately, conditions for flying the drone that evening were less than ideal, and the operator agreed to come back in the morning. Some dead deer were found, and some good bucks, but there was no sign of the one we were looking for. But thanks to the trail cameras, we found out in the coming days that the shot was not lethal. Nice doe. You know anyone that hit a doe? I tried a few sits on the edge of some of the bedding areas that we thought that buck might retreat to, but neighboring hunting pressure was at an all-time high, so any hope of seeing the buck was eroding away by the day. Mounting pressure at some of my favorite spots, I decided to switch up my tactics for that week and go after some of the other bucks in the area. Alright guys, Tuesday, gun season in Ohio. I'm sure you can hear the wind messing with the audio, but I'm going into one of our satellite farms today. Uh, there's been a lot of action at the home farm with Isaac killing his buck and the neighbor Bob. Um, wounding our number one. We did a pretty good drone search for him last night and today, even though the weather was crazy.
All right, Wednesday afternoon hunt for this Ohio gun season, the home farm deer camp episode. Um, just to quickly summarize all the events that have happened, it's always crazy during deer season, but to summarize the events, uh, Isaac shot his best buck ever on Monday. And while he was, while we were tracking that deer and uh, wrapping up that story, doing our filming, one of our neighbors shot our number one hit list around the farm. Um, bumped him once, couldn't find him on a grid search, lost blood. So he called in a drone. It came in uh, in the evening Monday and in the morning on Tuesday. They did a massive grid search with the drone to try to find this deer and came up, didn't seem like they came up with anything, maybe one or two possible hits, but um, it's an unresolved situation, which is unfortunate for the neighbor. Fast forward to last night, overnight, I got trail camera pictures of this buck and he doesn't look like he's wounded at all. Um, but he's a mile away from our farm right now, so he's nowhere near huntable at this moment. Um, if I had pictures of him on this farm, I'd go after him. Um, another local on the neighboring farm killed a nice mature buck that we've had on camera this year. So congrats to him. That was also yesterday, Tuesday. Um, Wednesday morning, so this morning, uh, we had a buck move into our farm that we only had one set of pictures of during peak rut back in early November. This buck spent all of the rut on a different farm of ours, two miles away as the crow flies. And all of a sudden he's here today. He's been on multiple cameras hitting scrapes. It seems like he might be pushing some does around. I'm not quite sure. We got a couple trail camera videos about to analyze when they come in, but um, he's on his feet and he's moving a lot. So I made a, I switched gears and I came in after him today. I'm not that far from where Isaac killed his buck on Monday, but this farm hasn't been pressured in three days and there's a mature deer on his feet. Um, tonight's hunt could be a lot of fun. We'll just see how this kind of unfolds. Uh, I've never had an encounter with this deer. I don't know much about him besides the fact that he's big and definitely mature and running. I like that, so let's see if we can have some fun tonight. That's exactly what I want right now. Camera in your face. The audience is a camera in my face. 
What happened? So it was all does all night. It was just does. Does. Okay. Does. There we go. Fawns. Fawns at first, and then the mature does. Uh, it started. It, it got till after five. Started to get dark. And I like caught a glimpse. Could barely hear. There were some squirrels running around, but I caught a glimpse. Could barely hear. A deer like heading down towards the blind. Okay. And I was in the stand in the middle. Pulled back ears up real quick. Psh, it was him. So. Megatron. Yeah, Megatron. The deer we just learned about today. Yeah. New, new new deer today. So I like got my camera ready. I grabbed my gun. Put the camera in the area. Just kind of waited. And like I, I could tell that he had kind of stopped somewhere north of the blind, you know, heading south. And then I heard a bunch of commotion to my right, to the south south. So I look over there, and there was like a buck chasing a doe. Big one? No, it was like a two two year old. Came down, made a scrape. And then another buck was coming in directly from the north in between us. And then the bigger one, Megatron, got real pissed and chased that buck off, like, bristled. It might be on video. I, I kind of zoomed in, zoomed out, and just, like, got my stuff kind of framed up so I could capture all the action. It was, like, mm -hmm. pandemonium in that tree. He bristled sideways. That buck took off. Like, nope, I'm out of here. And the other one was, like, just kind of hanging out. And he kept running them off. And he'd come back, run them off, come back. But there was like grapevines and high stem count. So I like I'm I, I was resting my gun on my camera arm, which was like in a perfect V, and I'm just waiting, waiting, and oh nope. Uh, no. Yeah, nope, nope. And then he like finally stopped in an opening. So I just kaboom. How far away was he? Probably between 75, 80 maybe. No reason you should have missed. He like jumped up. He like jumped up kinda, so I'm hoping that's on the video. But then, so I waited for a while. It kind of calmed down. The deer, all the deer just took a couple steps and just like waited. And it was getting really dark to see in the scope. So I'm like debating on pulling my binoculars up. And then like I saw him heading south. Looked fine. Like heading south. And it wasn't like, limping? It didn't look like he was limping. I followed him in my crosshairs. It touched off again. And it got all silent again. And then nothing was moving. And then I saw him going. And then I was like waiting in my scope. Just I was rock steady. I mean the GoPro might catch me looking a little bit. Frazzled, but I'm just like sitting here like this and then like I saw him like start to head east and I had a clear shot but that one was probably like 125 so I touched that one off and then you shot three times yeah and then I, so I reload my clip and then I'm like I gotta get out of this fucking tree but the tree is not an easy one to get out of unless you pack all your shit up so I'm like trying to safely get out of this tree just to get down so I can kind of like get to the edge of this valley and kind of see and then when I got down, I got to the edge of the valley, like, do, 10 deer went in 10 directions. So then I backed up, I went all my crap. Did you go Got over? the light real quick, did a quick scan of where I thought he was, because... But it's so, it's impossible. Oh, so. and then I walked out. So you didn't look a lot? Not a lot, no. I took one look without the light, but I had a lot of crap in the tree, but I couldn't see nothing. So we're going back there. No, I don't, we'll, we'll watch this film. If you touched off three shots and you thought you were on him, one of them. The first one is the best chance, I think. The other right. two, it was getting to the point where shit's getting unfocused in my... And, and the major thing was I was make, I wanted. I was very concerned that I was going to shoot the wrong deer. Yeah, yeah. So Because there was bucks everywhere. Like, they all came in together. So I did not want to shoot the wrong... So I had to like make sure his antlers are like so dark you can't even see him. Mm -hmm. So I'm like trying to like make sure it's him every time I shoot. And it wasn't, they, nothing was really that spooked. Even with the shooting, they didn't, they didn't leave until I went down there. But like, it was just, it got yeah, well, sloppy. It got real sloppy at the end there, but it wasn't sloppy at first. It just, there was just so much happening all we'll at one time. Watch the film. It's we're Dad's gonna, Buck 2.0. Like, we're going to have to go all back there in. and look though. Just maybe a couple of us. We can look at the film. I, mean, I think that's the one. Oh, well, that's, is that him? Yeah, Missing a mature buck is one of the worst feelings a hunter can endure, especially after countless hours in a tree stand and an entire year of build-up, preparation, and planning. It makes the feeling even worse when everything you do is in front of a camera lens and shared on YouTube for the world to see. I almost shot him there. Did you shoot the right deer? I almost shot him here, but I was like, I think that's a tree. But as always, deer hunting has a way of humbling even the most dedicated of sportsmen. You got it. You smoked him. I mean, I feel... My initial reaction was he definitely lunged on my first shot. Come back and watch the video. He lunges like crazy. But the 
fact that I saw him at least a minute after that, he didn't wasn't dead yet, bothers me. What happened to here? And a quick blood track showed nothing. We had some good plans this year. Yeah, I've had some really good plans. Listen. Two deer are dead because of my plan. I I was I was sitting there watching four goats. I read you a message. You said I missed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything to this wound today. See what happens. I, followed, I don't know. I didn't, that story. So I didn't follow that at all. On my way to the stand, I found that story. Right there. We're going to blow the new one. And even though we found the blood trail from a different deer, the location of the second shot showed the buck's path of travel, and there was no indication that he was hit. Ironically enough, the buck showed back up on trail cameras, two miles away, alive and well. One shell on a tree. First shot, no blood where the first shot was. Second shot had a shell on the tree. You know, about the third. I have pictures of the three on the wall. I can only go. I hope we don't poke him in the county. He only lives two miles away, so. Understandably, the deer hunting action from Stan over the next few days was very slow. But with the weekend coming, the old tradition of deer driving was on the horizon. What's your guess? 130. I, I was saying 127, but I think it might I think it might clip 130. Probably. 132. 132? Yeah. Dang. I mean, it's safe to say that's your biggest buck, Chad? Yeah. It yeah, carries his mass out. And, yeah, man, we got a ton of trail camera video of this deer for the last two years. And I believe an encounter last year. I guess we're not sure, right? We don't really know. Because there was two eight points, and now this year... You know, one with a 10 and one with a 9, so. Yeah. I was telling my buddy Chad today when he was taking his buck to the taxidermist that I didn't hear no bell. I don't care if I've gotten knocked out like 17 rounds in a row. I'm going to keep getting back up. And we're going to hunt some deer. Okay. On my microphone. Okay, guys. It's just coffee. Can't tell that's a book coffee. light or coffee. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. Could be book light fused coffee. I don't know that. I had a really, really good game when I came back from DC that I played. And the one I did was coffee. I think I broke anything. I sent the map. I've two dinner days with her. I sent the map to everybody. I feel like it's got to be broken. Nothing to do. You just text me and say it. Nature's calling real quick. Sorry, it's napping. You want to sit her in the woods? Yeah. <coughs> the duck hunter with his bar stool hoodie on. Yeah. 
Killed some ducks, huh? Killed five mallards. Sydney Wells, now you got that? Hunted for an hour. That's not nice. bad. Is that, is, are you done duck hunting for the year? It was our first duck hunt of the year, so no. We might hunt next weekend, but uh, other than that, we'll see. It's not, it's like no, it's white. I wanted it gray. Chunks. I didn't want crumble. It's actually quite sausage. delectable. Sausage. 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 All the way around. Our, our Saturday breakfast tradition keeps getting smaller and smaller. That's the best we So we're here. I feel like this is a good amount. Yeah. What's Ethan doing? Making eggs inside. For an hour. I thought he was hunting this morning, but apparently not. How did he get home? I was the only okay. person hunting this morning. We should drive everyone back to the truck. Yeah. Oh, looks like there's a hundred people here. What are we doing? Saturday tradition. Hillbilly. Hillbillies. Being DJs. Hey Ryan, Ethan getting into place. This one could be, this one could be wild. Killed deer here last year on a push doe, but we had a buck back door, so we're trying to have a little bit of a better plan to not have this, the buck scoot out the same way they did last year. But. So what time do we want to start walking south? It's 11. Thicket and valley up to this lane because I had deer just running everywhere when I went walking down. Yeah, they're all they're all like hanging out down there. Yeah, some bucks went that way. I just caught a glimpse of them, like antlers coming through the trees. So I was like, decent size. Or? No, like the one was a two-year-old. The one was a spike, and they headed towards Ethan's, and, and then Tyler went that way too. So I was like, well, I didn't see anything. Tyler's a million turkeys. I yeah, Luke. I saw Luke seeing a bunch of turkeys. Turkey heaven back there. I could have blasted. I literally the chased the turkeys out. Oh. Like, like we got John Wayne. My face is bleeding. <laughs> you look like Hurts. Tom Berger from Platoon. <laughs> That's what you look like. Yeah, like big stick stand. Yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna shoot some of these bullets, and they're gonna stop getting worn out from me unracking them. Like, <laughs> yeah. See, I got my lost and pound pile started over here. Yeah, it's all your stuff. <laughs> Woof. Shit, whatever. It doesn't mean doesn't mean anything. When it, when did it you actually, learn anything from the class? And you're not. It is mainly for her, you know, like to like. Duck hunter. Sleepy duck hunter. You've already taken a three-hour nap. Yeah, I gotta take another one soon. <laughs> there you go, Danny. Put her up. Two years in a row, you're going to be in the video just holding a deer that you brought. Oh, God. Look at that thing. There he is. It was like butter. He didn't That's put COP on it. He put, like, grease. Gun butter. <laughs> uh, boar butter. Boar butter? That's boar. what we use for the muzzle loaders. That's what you leave to clean your gun. No, I cleaned no, it. No, you put it in there to keep it from rusting. I cleaned it, but I smeared it in there so it wouldn't rust. And well, it just, she didn't rust. <laughs> yeah, it certainly didn't, didn't rust. It also didn't <laughs> just bit me in the ass. That's all. <laughs> all right, Isaac. The misery is almost over. This is our. This is the last day. Misery. We're all misery. We're about to make ourselves look sad, day. man. Last, <laughs> last day of gun season. And then I can take an official break. I can actually like not hunt for a couple days. Yeah. Like do housework. that. No, I'm, I'm, okay. get, I have to find my orange. It's underneath all this shit. Stop yapping. Yeah, you need more orange. You need more orange. Don't tell me what to do. You don't have. Are you wearing like a traffic director vest? <laughs> Where are you? All right, Sitka. I, I, right, I, I have a better vest for you, my friend. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll wear this. Yeah, we're going to have the Sitka versus First Light Wars when it comes to whose vest is cooler. Well, that's mm -hmm. not going to help me at all. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Both ways. Yeah, like both this. Ways. this is both a valley. So this is a point. point. Yeah, somebody needs to stand at the point. Sneak in here, but watch this side, kind of. <clears throat> Theoretically, you could put two people in here. You could have two people go in, one sneak in here, one sneak here, and then another one has to be like right in here. Because the deer will bust across this open field. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For someone who. All right. <laughs> Degenerates. Degeneracy is happening. Our last day of degeneracy is happening. Final deer drives of the season. There will probably be some more for extended, but of this week's hunting, the weather is bad. It's like, still dirty. It's dark out still, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Or noon. But I 
feel dirty. Nah. It's tradition. Our grandfathers would be proud if they could still walk, but they can't. <laughs> so we gotta do it for them. Push number two, and this one could be a real doozy. We do this drive every year, see tons of does, and every once in a while we get backdoored by a good buck, but there is a good buck in here, according to trail cameras this last week. We haven't hunted it much, so it could get real exciting real fast. I seen more fucking deer. Tyler, at least thirty came in front of me. At least thirty. Dude, well, I, in a group, in a herd. Me and Brandon yes. kept like some would run out in front of him so I would catch up. Then they would run out. We were gonna have to look for blood well, on this guy. You guys were bumping him up to me because I was right. ahead of you and I didn't know it. Well Brandon was way, way behind me. Brandon was probably eighty yards behind me, so I was wait. We need to go look for this buck. Yeah, but let's let's Okay, let's figure out get our bearings of where <coughs> Tyler, this buck ran me down because I got so far ahead of you guys that he like got in between us and I'm walking up here just I thought it was pod. the same wounded buck that I seen so that's why I was like taking shots dude I don't know he was he was no. big the one I saw was big this one was like I'm talking like I guess I couldn't see all the times so I'm pretty sure it was that nine point we've been getting on scrapes like 140 inch nine um, I felt really like a piece of shit because I wanted to kill him because he was standing yeah, five feet from me you did I, what was legal I, had, I can't nothing I can do <laughs> <laughs> I had the one face staring me at me like this, like. But Brandon, the GoPro's on. All these deer running in front of me, and I'm like, I can't shoot back. I want, you know, if he would have squirted left, that was my shooting range angle, and then Ashton's <laughs> over so there. Was Matt or Ethan shot. Some, yeah, Matt or Ethan had to have been the shooter, and we haven't heard a shot yet. Did you get him on video, Luke? I think so. I can get Fair you to clear. I, I turned around to oh, you guys. Yeah, just like kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. That was deer driving at its finest, is what that actually was. I've seen more deer today than I have all week combined. Yeah, he's bad shape. Good looking, bro. Yeah, Isaac's got to go first. I'll text you guys once I get up by the corner. Yeah, so I'll make the big poop, but Luke's got to drop down to the creek behind it. So the deer don't shoot out that way.
that last deer drive is what you refer to as pure fucking misery. Matt shot an 11 point with a drop tie on this last deer drive today. Monster. He's a monster. Drop tie 11 point. Can't ask for anything better gun season. It doesn't tell people that he's you know, 102 inches. <laughs> we got one last sit. Everyone's got one last sit if we're going. Are you sitting? Fuck. You done hunting? No. Well, if you go to the bottom, you're going right Gotta go back south, dude. Final scene of the week. Gun season is over. Gun season is over. We just have late bow, secondary gun, muzzle loader, and even later bow to go.